How's it going, YouTube? It's been a while. No, not gonna die. Welcome to part one of my lesson on Not Gonna Die by Skillet. Before I begin, I just want to take a second to apologize for taking so long to make this video. I haven't uploaded anything in, I believe, six months. And I, I promised to make this tutorial specifically about 11 months ago. So it's been quite a while, and uh, for that I apologize. But I'm back, better late than never, I suppose. Like I said, this is part one, and in this video, I will be teaching you everything aside from the solo. Part two will be the solo, and part three will be all the leads that I added to the song in my cover. Now, if you have not seen my cover, feel free to check that out. I will add a link to it in the description below. And uh, if you like, if you like the stuff I added, feel free to watch part three of this tutorial, and you can learn how to play it. So, I guess that's all I wanted to say. Um, so let's begin. <laughs> Okay, so the song kicks off with a pedal point riff. Now, if you don't know what a pedal point is, it's basically when you keep bouncing back to a single note. In this case, it's going to be the fourth fret of the D. If I play the intro, you'll notice that every other note is the fourth fret of the D. So I'm not gonna keep saying fourth fret D every time you're supposed to play the fourth fret of the D. So I'll teach you this. And just know that every other note in between, in between each of those notes play the fourth fret of the D. So it starts, I'll take it two notes at a time, starts on the sixth fret of the G, six, four. All palm muted, by the way. Six, seven. 6-4 and then go to the D and play 7-6 then when you add the pedal point so you play that twice and then the chords come in So that's, uh, that's just the open D, second fret, all power chords, fourth fret, and then the seventh fret, or if you're like me, I typically like to play the open A. I believe the band slides up to the seventh fret though, so if you want to play it like Skillet, play the seventh fret. Okay, then you start over again at the open D, and you play the third fret. And then you got this. It's kind of like the main riff of this song. It, kind of, it repeats throughout the whole song. Uh, so that's the fourth fret. And then seven and two. And then you end on the fourth fret. And that's actually transitioning into the verse, which is just, for the first half of it, it's just the fourth fret. Just over and over again. Now for the second half of the verse, you're gonna add this little riff. And uh, how that sounds with the chords. So that all that is is the it's palm muted on the A string four two four five and four. And that's it for the intro and the verse. The last thing I heard 
Okay, so the pre-chorus, when you're playing the rhythm, you want a, a cleaner tone. And the way I do this is I don't keep my amp's distortion up all the way. It's only set to about 5. And I have a pedal, which I use as a boost when I need some more distortion. So what I do is I typically I keep the pedal off, I'll use the neck pickup, and I'll turn the guitar's volume down. And it gives me a cleaner tone. Uh, so the pre-chorus sounds like this. Alright, now that's the second fret of the A, all power chords. And then you're going to play the D, um, open D. And then fourth fret of the D. Um, and then you're going to move down one fret uh, on the D to the third fret. And on the G, you're going to play the what is that, sixth fret. And then on the B, you're going to play the sixth fret. So. And that's the rhythm. Now, while the rhythm is playing that, the lead plays this. Which is actually a lot easier than the rhythm. So, um, 14th fret of the E. 16th fret. And down to the 13th fret. And that's it for the pre-chorus. Okay, so the chorus. Um, it's a pretty simple chord progression I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Sounds like this. That all that is, that's the open D, 4th fret, 7, and 2. Then you're going to slide up to the 6th fret, 6, 7, 9, 7. Okay, then go back into the chords. And you're going to end on the 4th fret of the A. And then uh, after that you just repeat the intro, and the pre-chorus, and the chorus, and then you've got the bridge. Okay, so now we're at the bridge, which sounds like this. Okay, so that's just the open D. 2nd fret, and 4th fret, you're going to play it twice, and then you're going to palm mute, and then the 2nd fret palm muted. And repeat. Okay, now you're going to play the open, open D. And the third fret, and then back into the main riff of the song. Uh, then you're gonna play the fourth fret, and the second fret. Okay, next up is the 
rhythm that plays during the solo. Uh, like I said, I will be teaching the solo in part two. Um, but the rhythm plays this. Okay, so that's the second fret of the A. Uh, so go up to the fifth fret of the A. Fourth fret of the D, the low D. And then you're gonna play, only move down the D string to the third fret. Uh, and you wanna still play the fourth fret of the A and the fourth fret of the D. to the second fret of the A, fifth fret, uh, the main riff, and then you're going to end on the fourth fret. And uh, that's it. Once you've learned that, you've learned the whole song. The rest of the song just consists of stuff I've already told, taught you, uh, just repeating. So, so that's it for part one. If you want to learn how to play the solo, I'll see you in part two.